Hey guys, today's restaurant, or actually food truck, is called Sugar Mama's Soul Food Kitchen, and it's located on Bougainville Drive, more on the NEX side. So if you're not familiar, if you go down to the end of Nimitz, and you turn on to Valkenburg, and you turn on to Bougainville, heading towards the NEX, you're going to pass the 7-Eleven and a Kentucky Fried Chicken, and then it's right across the NEX Garden Center. Uh, parked on the side of the road and there's plenty of um, street parking where they're at and if not you can park at the NEX Garden Center and just cross the street and they specialize in soul food and if you don't know what that is it's pretty much food from the south that's comfort food fried chicken gumbo peach cobbler sweet potato pie stuff like that mac and cheese so I wanted to try a whole bunch of things and right off the bat when you approach the truck um, I went right at opening. They open at 3, and they're only there on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, the owner, Mr. Higgins, approached me and just said, Hi, how you doing? Um, very, very friendly people. And um, his wife, Miss Higgins, is, a, is the cook, and I believe his daughter is the one who takes orders. So they're a family business, and this is what they had to say about their business. Hi, um, <laughs> we're the Wiggins family. Uh, we are the owners of Sugar Mama Soul Food Kitchen. We've been open for about five months. About four and a half months. Yeah, about oh, awesome. and a half, five months. Um, we sell for soul food, uh, food for the soul. We're from Alabama and uh, Mississippi. Wow. And we just wanted to um, be able to bring something um, from our from um, from the from the mainland that we enjoy and others enjoy as well. And you're located right across the NEX Garden yep. Center, and that's on like Bougainville, for those who don't know. Yep, that's it. Yep. And then what times are you open? You also do breakfast, we right? We do breakfast, yes, we have grit bowls. Um, we are open from um, in the Saturday mornings from 7.30 to 10, and then we're open again um, from 3 to 6.30, Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. Yes. And then what's like your most popular dish that people like out of your whole menu? <laughs> uh, gumbo, I would say gumbo, okay. the chicken. Classic. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're doing catfish Sunday. Um, oh. This Sunday coming up, so come up with some catfish and some potato salad, you know, bringing it from the south, so. Uh, no, just uh, <laughs> just thank Hawaii for coming out supporting us. Yes, um, thank you. We, uh, we, I'm, I'm still active doing the military. Oh, um, thank you for your wife, service, sir. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Yeah. Um, my wife, she's a school teacher. Oh, wow, so this awesome. Is a, uh, family owned business. Yep. Wow, you guys work really hard then. You don't really get days off. There are no days off. Wow. Well, thank you for offering your food to everybody. So yeah, as you can see, very nice, genuine people. So go give them your support. Um, they're very hard workers and I give them kudos because, wow, I couldn't uh, do that with a regular full-time job. Uh, for them, there's no days off for them, but I guess that's what they love to do. So let's try the first uh, entree. It's, I got their fried chicken. It smells delicious. When it went into the car in the package, you could smell everything, and you know this is going to be good. So it looks really light and crisp. Mmm. Wow. The meat is moist. It's not dried, cooked to perfection, where it's not raw, but not overcooked and tough. The batter is light and crispy. It's not too heavy where it's just coated. It's just enough to make that nice crisp. But the flavor of the meat, the flavor is all throughout, like they brined it or something. And it's so delicious. Definitely not lacking on the taste at all. So these are all like wings, which is great because I like wings. This is good. If you're looking for authentic southern fried chicken, this is it. The thing about this is, even though it's a food truck, you can tell that it's made with love and this is like homemade cooking, even though it tastes delicious. You can never find this at a restaurant. This is definitely like something you would want uh, to go to their house and have dinner because man, they can cook. And you can also see Mr. Higgins frying the chicken outside. They have this um, generator going with their deep fryer. So he does it outside right there. All right, I don't want to stop eating that. That's actually really good, but let's move on to the others. Uh, that way we can give each dish their spotlight. So this is one of their most famous, as they said, um, or most wanted dish um, at their food truck, and it's their Southern Gumbo. And just looking at it, they ain't stingy for sure. Um, 
there's tons of sausage and meat in here and I see a little corn and I'm not sure if it's seafood or not but totally loaded with meat oh yeah there's shrimp in here look at that oh wow this actually looks like crab meat mm -mm. and it is wow who would have known you could have got this from a food truck and and there's like crawfish tails in there definitely a deal knowing that there's and dewy sausage in here and it's authentic and lots of seafood they're very generous with it there is lots of crab meat in here it's amazing and i like the corn in here it gives it a, a different um texture has a nice little spice to it not too spicy but the amount of sausage they're given oops this is a lot of food and meat it's very hearty and it's got lots of flavor so with the seafood in there boiling in there the broth is really rich and delicious i didn't know this but there's rice on the bottom awesome mm, it's hot that's good with the rice soaks up all that deliciousness the crawfish too is good i'm not really one of a fan of crawfish um, i probably would like it fresh in louisiana or the south but usually when you get it frozen here um, after being shipped, it's really swampy, but this has no swampy taste at all. Everything's delicious. Another thing I ordered is this Alabama potato ball. And it comes with three pieces in a bag. And it kind of looks like a hush puppy, but it's made out of potato. So we'll try this out. Has a dipping sauce, looks like ranch. Mm. Oh, wow. It's almost like a croquette. It's nice and soft on the inside and cheesy, kind of. Like and it's got, like, bacon or some kind of meat or sausage. Mmm. I'm not supposed to be eating all this stuff. Seriously going to get fat, but this is good. So refreshing to have something different. Because you have the same things all the time in Hawaii. So it's nice to have somebody that knows how to cook real soul food. All right, kind of getting thirsty here. So I also got some swamp water. Even though um, it sounds kind of weird, it's nothing weird. It's actually um, lemonade and sweet tea mixed together. Some people know it as an Arnold Palmer or 50-50, but this is uh, what it is. Hmm. Really good stuff. Just the right amount of sweetness. Goes well with all these foods. Um, I can't say enough good things yet already. I mean, this is delicious. I really, really enjoy this. All right, so moving along. Uh, I ordered also dessert. And I got their sweet potato pie. Looks delicious. See. Get a slice of this. Mm. You know, I'm going to be honest, I've never had sweet potato pie, and that's why I wanted to try it. I've only had pumpkin. But this tastes like pumpkin pie, but a little bit more denser, firmer. And it is good. The crust is flaky and light. The filling of the sweet potato pie is nice and sweet and just the right, right amount of sweetness where you what you want in a dessert. And the bottom of the crust is so light and flaky and really thin. So it's not like full of that goopy pie crust. That's winners. And I'm not even a dessert person. This is so good. Really nice. Okay, so also when I ordered, after I said that's all I wanted, I'm a sucker. She said they had a special today of peach cobbler, and that's what I got. Uh, so I said, just throw it in. I wanted to try it as well. So here we go. Peach cobbler. Looks really delicious. 
Oh yeah. That's some good stuff. The cobbler part in here, it's nice and soft, almost like a, I don't know, it looks like a sponge cake or something, nice and light. But it soaks up all that nice cobbler and the peach, the sugar. I've never had a cobbler like this where there's a lot of the breading here or that spongy cake thing. Usually it's just sprinkled on the top for the crisp, but this, uh, I'm not sure what it is, that sponge cakey like stuff really makes it, I think it makes it so unique and different, but in a good way. And it soaks up that nice peach juice. Mm. And it gives it texture too. So good, I'm telling you. I'm glad I threw this in. The other specials today, I couldn't see the bottom when there was three specials, I believe, but there's also collard greens for those wanting to have that. They also have their regular sides, such as um, Mississippi green beans and mac and cheese. So if you're into mac and cheese, they also have that. They have shrimp and grits as well. The peach cobbler is not on their regular menu. If you ever see it as a special, definitely get that. That is delicious. All right, so I'm gonna eat the rest in private and finish off everything else it is so good but we'll go over the pros and cons for you guys the pros are delicious delicious food i'm telling you nothing i have had out of all these things that i ordered were bad at all all had great flavor deep uh really deep broth in that gumbo the fried chicken was seasoned deliciously um nice and crisp but light the alabama um potato balls they're nice and crispy on the outside same thing light it's not like this heavy nasty batter it's a light crispness but the inside so um nice and smooth like that japanese croquette in a way um but it's an interesting texture in a good way i i really enjoyed that that's something interesting that you'll never really find here in hawaii as a side for soul food um the desserts are off the chain and this is coming from somebody that doesn't really eat desserts. These are really, really good. And the sweet tea and the lemonade, that swamp uh, drink, it's, it's, it all goes together well. And what makes it even better is it's a family-owned business. They're all friendly from the uh, Mr. Higgins who's cooking outside and greeting you uh, to Mrs. Higgins who's cooking inside the... Um, trailer and uh, their daughter taking the orders. Everybody was friendly and nice right off the bat. And uh, I don't think you really see that Southern hospitality here as much and you will get to experience it when you're there. Um, the parking is easy. There's tons of parking um, and they're open for a pretty good amount of hours. Although I have read in Yelp that you should go from opening and not wait any longer than maybe an hour or two because they will sell out even though it says they're open till six um it, sometimes they might not be there because they're sold out so definitely if you're going to check them out get there uh around opening um the cons i don't really have any cons if anything like i say in my other videos um the wait for the food was a little long but i am not one to really care if the wait's long because i'd rather have my food made to order and fresh which it was it was piping hot in the bag but if you're the type that is impatient or you have stuff to do or you're in a rush um, this might not be for you you gotta have the time to you know just be patient and wait there and it's great they have chairs and benches and a little pop-up tent to you know protect you from the sun because the sun is just right on you um, to wait for your food so you're not just standing around so you can sit down and relax so that is the only con I have um, also another pro is all these dishes are actually for what they're serving very, very affordable and, you know, go support them because I, I don't even know if they're really making a profit. Uh, I don't know if they're doing it out of love because this is really affordable food that um, is much cheaper than any other restaurant. So we'll go over the prices and because I got a whole bunch of things because I wanted to really try everything, um, I'm going to go over the stuff um, separately. So the gumbo was $10, and rightfully so. It's a pretty big soup bowl, more than a cup, 
usually you get the bowl or a cup of soup but considering for ten dollars you're getting real crab meat in there um, crawfish lots of shrimp and tons of sausage with the rice on the bottom and that's a deal to me it's got real seafood in it and it's not imitation crab it's real it tastes like blue crab um, I got the three chicken wings but they were <laughs> generous enough to give me some more um, three chicken wing combo is five dollars you got your Alabama mash balls, those are $3. The swamp water is $1.50. And um, they didn't separate the pie. Oh, I'm sorry. Each pie or dessert, the cobbler, is $2.50 each. So $5 together. And if you wanted to know the whole subtotal of everything I bought, it was $24.50. And that is a deal. I got all the stuff for $24.50. That's, I, I definitely can't finish it. So I'll definitely have it for dinner as well because this is my lunch. So definitely check it out. Sugar Mama's Soul Food Kitchen, located across the NEX Garden Center on Bougainville Drive, right next to the 7-Eleven and kind of in the front of Pearl Kai Elementary or Pearl Kai Harbor Elementary. Um, not sure, but there's an elementary school there right before the NEX if you're heading uh, northbound on Bougainville. If you're coming the other way, you're going to pass the NEX first, and they're right there on the street. You can't miss it. It's a trailer with their truck, um, and they're frying the chicken outside on the grass. So support this family who's working really hard, and not just because of that. They make delicious food, and I definitely want everybody to hear about it because they're kind of brand new. And if you're craving soul food, this is the place to be. So check them out. Support of small mom and pop business and all the other ones out there on the island of Oahu. And I'll see you next time. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And search my other videos if you're looking for other places to eat on the island and you're curious as to what restaurant to go to. Um, you can use the search bar on my page and I'll just search the videos. If you have a partic particular restaurant in mind and I did go there, you will find it. Um, and I'll see you next week. Take care and peace out.